Hello everyone, my name is Olivia. I live and serve with my family as a missionary in South Korea. I was born in Taiwan, but have lived here in Seoul ever since I was almost three years old. The activity we will do today is something we have already done with church friends in the past, so maybe some of you have already seen this. We hope that through this craft, you will better understand a bit more about the life and service here in Asia. Let us begin by asking a question. When you are hungry and would like a quick, inexpensive snack, what do you like to eat? An apple, chips, a cookie, ice cream? Do you know what many people eat in Korea? Gimbap. Gimbap is a food that is often eaten by Koreans looking for a quick, inexpensive meal. It is made of so many delicious ingredients such as seaweed, pickled turnip, spinach, rice, and sometimes ham or other ingredients like kimchi. Does this sound yummy? Today we will be making gimbap together. We have prepared a document that has all the supplies that you will need. Before we begin, you will find a list of the materials on the website. If you can't prepare all of the supplies, it's okay. You can still watch the video. Are you ready? First, we need the seaweed. You can see that the seaweed is square. Normally, gimbap seaweed is larger than our seaweed today. Then, take your rice. A layer of rice is spread on top of the seaweed. The rice is always white, which represents purity. As Christians, we want to share with others that Jesus makes us pure through his sacrifice. Take the green peas and put it on top of the rice. This is the spinach. We would like to suggest that the green represents growth. We ask that you pray with us that the number of Christians grow throughout Asia. Now take the brown. This is a type of stocky vegetable that is used in gimbap called uyong. We can say that the brown stands for the wooden cross that makes us white as rice. The yellow piece. This ingredient is the pickled turnip. Some people may find it a little bitter or sour. This stands for those challenges and difficult times that may seem bitter and trying. Next is red. Kimchi is probably the most popular Korean food. It is spicy and fermented mixture of red pepper, salt, garlic, shrimp paste, and cabbage or other vegetables. Many Koreans eat it at three meals a day. When you see the red kimchi, of course you can think of Jesus' blood given for us. You can also think, I can speak a little Korean. The last ingredient is orange color. It is carrot, which is used in most gimbap. We couldn't decide on anything to say about orange. Take all of these fillings and roll it up in your seaweed. Now we will wrap up the gimbap. When you order gimbap to go, they wrap it up in aluminum foil. We will use shiny silver tape, but any kind of tape is fine for our craft. Jesus wraps his arms around us and is always with us. Finally, if you want to put your creation on your refrigerator, you can stick a magnet to the back. Your gimbap is done. Chalhesoyo. Well done.